In this video I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called multiplying rational expressions made up of linear expressions. We're asked to multiply and simplify our answer as much as possible. And to start with the simplification, I'm going to begin by factoring each one of these terms with the ultimate goal of seeing if anything will cancel before I do the multiplication. So factoring each of these on the top of the left hand fraction x plus 4. Nothing factors out of both of those two terms, so I will leave it just an x plus 4. In the bottom, however, the 3x plus 5, I can factor out of 3 out of each of those terms. Factoring out a 3 from 3x leaves me x. Factoring out a 3 from the 15 leaves me a plus 5. So I have factored out the greatest common factor of 3x and 15. Moving to the right fraction, on the top I have a 9x plus 45. I can factor a 9 out of both of those terms, leaving me with an x in the first term, and factoring the 9 out of 45 would be a plus 5. And then in the bottom, the 2x plus 8, I can factor out a 2 which would leave me with an x in the first term, and then from the 8, if I factored out a 2, a plus 4. And now that I have this fully factored, I can look to see if any of the terms in the top will cancel with terms in the bottom. And here we're going to see that happen in a couple of places. First, with the x plus 4s, there is an x plus 4 term in the top and an x plus 4 term in the bottom those will cancel. The same is true for the x plus 5's. We have an x plus 5 in the top and an x plus 5 in the bottom. Those will cancel. And then even for our coefficients, we have a 9 in the top and a 3 in the bottom. Those are both divisible by 3, so we can say that 3 goes into 3 once and 3 goes into 9 three times. So having done all of the canceling available to us, we can multiply the top. Multiplying everything is canceled, except for the 3. And in the bottom, everything is canceled, except the 2. So this expression has simplified all the way down to 3 halves.